With Shekelstein in prison, Skyrim is rebounding from a period of heavy substance abuse and capitalist overindulgence that had racked the economies of several holds. To many, the memory of Shekelstein is a bitter one, a man only out to sate his own thirst for money and power at the expense of the hard-working middle class. Unfortunately for them, today is his last day in prison. I, I, I didn't even do anything that bad, dude. Just let me the fuck out of here. I've been in here forever. Fucking corpse in my cell starting to stank, man. It's not because of me. I mean, I mean, what I did to him, I definitely opened up a little stink hole. You know what I'm saying? But it, it wasn't. It, it's not that. He's starting to actually like decay and shit. It's fucking gross. Thank you, thank you. I'm a free ass man now. I paid my debt to society. Uh, you know, I feel like this world is ready to embrace me with open arms. But first. I have some unfinished business. Ugh. I'm sorry, dude. I'm gonna steal this horse. Sorry, I stole this. I got important stuff to do. Long ago, I left a piece of myself in a faraway land. It's time to go get it. Thirteen days, seventy-three leagues later. I finally found it. Tomorrow morn, I will be whole again. Yeah, I'm finally here. This is the moment of truth. Oh my god, it's still there. Oh, thank god. Now I gotta get back to Whiterun. How you doing, Janasa? You doing pretty good? Uh-oh. Hey! 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 What the fuck? Now, we were friends before. Holy shit. Ayla, you got my back, right? Yeah! Dear God. Ayla. Ayla, I appreciate it. I don't know why she snapped. You know, I... So far, you've been the only nice person to me since I got out of prison. Did you say prison? I, no, 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 no! I mean, like, I was, I was, it was just, it was just a short time. It was a short time. I, I'm all reformed now. I swear. I, fuck. Can I just get a ride to like just any place but here? Fuck off. You know, what, I'm just gonna go back to my house, and I'll, I'll regroup there. I, I don't, I don't know exactly what's going on, but I'm home. You know, it's been a long time since I've been able to. uh... Excuse me. Since I've been able to relax in my own, my own house. Sir, what are you doing here? Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. Yeah. In the old fort. I heard that too, man. Might consider joining up myself. What the fuck is going on in here? Hey, what the fuck you doing, man? This is my fucking house. Get the fuck out of here. No. You guys are in my house. Okay, I own this fucking place. Heavy. Kill him! Ah, holy shit! Not even welcome in my own fucking house. Jesus Christ, I paid my debt to society. Alright? This skooma thing has done nothing but bring me misfortune. I think it's time I quit. It's with a heavy heart. Your days of fucking ruining my life are over. So get out of here! On this day, I am more than just a man bound by- Why am I so dark? On this day, I am more than just a man, a slave to his addictions. These cities, these places I once called home, these people that I was once their fucking landlord, the man that sheltered them, they've spit me out, spit me out into the world without a fucking care. They have done nothing but trample me and attack me. Frankly, I'm I'm starting to get I'm starting to think they don't like me. While well, I was in prison, I didn't even get a single visitor. Can you believe that? Not a single person visited me. If anything, you'd think that, that they would want to get some tips and tricks on my stroke action. All right, because when I got, when I was in prison, I got the stroke down pretty good. In and out, nut in 38 seconds. I guess I'll just go live among the fucking animals. A pariah, Shacklestein roams the countryside. The cities he previously frequented refused his patronage and some even attacked him on sight. With no income or assets of any kind, he feels empty. I've been roaming the countryside for a couple weeks now. I live out in the woods. 
very live a very simple life. If you think it's a liberating experience and that I've found tranquility in my soul, you'd be absolutely wrong. Living out here fucking sucks. It's cold. My feet hurt. I haven't had a bed to lay on. A proper bed in weeks. It's cold as shit and there's wolves! Wolves out of nowhere! Fucking piece of shit! Do you understand how hard it is to come by food out here? I just basic supplies. Toilet paper. First night in, I wipe my ass with a nettle. Do you know what a nettle is? It's like feeding barbed wire into your cornhole. It was the worst thing I've ever done. The only money I can come across is from stealing from people on the fucking roadside. Oh yeah, look at that, you see that? Oh, that's nice. I was kind of hoping for some food, lady. Money doesn't exactly help when nobody will fucking trade with me. The only bath I've had in the past month is in Falkyrie's drinking water. They just, they kind of leave the top open, and slip in, take a dip real quick. Hey, excuse me, sir. I used to have a horse just like that, very similar, actually. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Oh, so you're selling meat. Yeah, is there any way I can have this without paying for it? Good day. Oh. Hey, don't look at me like that, all right? All she had to do was give me a steak or two for free, okay? She didn't have to die, but I will admit to that venison she had on her was mwah, bone apple teeth, my guy. And now who's looking like a bitch? But I do need to find an alternative to the way I'm living because I think it'll last forever, okay? They're eventually gonna send some guards after me. I'm not even that far away from Falkreath, so I do need to figure out something. Hey, look, you can see my bath over there. It's been fucking days, dude. I'm so fucking hungry. Hey. What's that? Hold on a second, what do we got here? Looks like some tasty mackerel. You know what I'm saying? Hey buddy, mind if I come on over? How you doing? Mind if I uh, use your fire here, do you? It looks like it's pretty warm. That's a nice outfit you got on, by the way. Sure is a nice fire you got over here. It's awfully cold out here, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, look behind you! I have been spending way too much time outside. I'm gonna need those fucking pants. Look, and you're just gonna join this dude over here. I noticed there's a fucking dead guy in the water. That had nothing to do with me. Get you going on down the river. They'll never know it was me. This will wash up near Whiterun at some point. And, uh, and they'll be like, oh, what happened? Oh my god, it must have been some sort of serial killer. No, 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 my friend. Just a man looking for some mackerel. That's all it was. Oh my god. Oh, these are salmon. I don't even fucking like salmon. Oh, that was a waste of time. Hey, I'm really hungry. I noticed you got chickens and mud crabs around here. Can I have some food? A guest? Oh my. Those are some crazy eyeballs. I'd better get going. Oh. Hold on, wait. C could I... Ma'am, ma'am, please. Ma'am, please. How about, how about... I... Entertain you for money, eh? Huh? Yeah, she likes that. Playing this loot like pussy, boy. Look at that. How is that? Four gold? That's all I get for that? Is four fucking gold? The longer I stayed out in the woods, the less and less I realized I needed those fucking people. They cast me out into the fucking woods. Alright? I did everything for those people. I gave them houses, I provided skooma, I provided potions. Is it too much to ask for a little bit of recognition? Just a, you know, a little pat on the back? No, as soon as I get out of prison, these people throw me to the wolves. And I've done nothing but good things for these people. Furthermore, I don't need Balgruf or Ulfric. Those two assholes, they're the reason I'm even out here. So I fucking bend the market in my favor. So what? A monopoly here, a monopoly there, never hurt anybody. You know, as long as I come across enough food, I'm perfectly content with being out here. Stupid dead horse. See? Plenty of meat, just laying around. As long as idiots are leaving their dead ho- Jesus Christ, what the fuck is that? As long as, uh, as long as people are leaving their dead horses around. Isn't it like Horse 101? You watch out for bear traps in the middle of the road. Like, are you even trying, dude? Is this guy still alive? Your tail's 
<laughs> Yo, that thick tail of yours is still going, man. Let's see what he's got in here. He's got a couple pots and pans. Hat. Cast iron pot. Wooden bowl. Really not carrying much here, dude. You kind of died over nothing. Got a little knapsack. Rasha's notes. Let's see what you've been writing about. Rasha did not understand much, but then the ghost gave Rasha a strange key. Ancient Dwemer Laboratory. Must go there. Thought of the ghost, but he cares about the treasures in the ancient laboratory. Hey, treasure. I like treasure, man. Thank you, Rasha. I'll give you a ceremonial burial. You're welcome. Look, I kept getting in trouble trying to fuck people over in order to get money, but this one's a sure bet. It's a sure bet. The book said it. It's like you just take the key, you go in there, and there's some treasure. And something about a daughter with the ghost or something, but that's stupid. Don't worry about that. What's important is treasure, key, it's a win. You give a man any opportunity, every opportunity, he'll make something phallic. He will. Look at that thing. All right, they tried to hide it with the little eagle head on top, but you know what that is. It's a giant earth dick. That's all it is. What is this, like some sort of monument or something? Hey, what do we got here? Hidden behind a shroud of leaves. Hello? I, uh, I came here for riches. I heard that there was riches provided here. You know, it's been so long since I've been inside, I forgot what it felt like. It feels like I'm burning my fucking skin off by standing next to a giant pool of lava. There, I kept the important stuff on. Looking good. What's this? Oh, here we go, here we go. There's this is like d dwarven oil. That's worth something, right? Amulet of Homes. I'll take that. A book covered in menstrual blood. That That's nice. Search refrigerator. Look at that. Daedra heart. Human heart. Look at that. There's all sorts of crap here. See? I knew this was alright. Roll of paper. An old journal. What do we got here? I'm glad to have found this cave. It's so quiet and peaceful. You hear that, guys? That's the sound of quiet. Man, this book here, that, that's quite a read. I just gave that a once-over. And, um, that, that's, that's something else. It was written by, uh, this dude. His daughter died, and he was, he was distraught. I mean, he was really down in the dumps. Much like myself, after the townspeople, ungrateful as they are, kicked me out. And, uh, and now I'm living underground like a fucking mole man. His daughter died. And he takes her mangled, disfigured body and starts working away. Strapping hedge trimmers on there, toaster parts, whatever it takes in order to make a perfect cyborg daughter. And there was a couple components that he was missing. He needed a human heart, a Daedric heart, and a Briar heart. This is, uh, this is his daughter. Look at that thick piece of meat. Are you kidding me? You know, I know he built her. But you would think it's his own daughter. You'd put something on a little bit less, uh, scandalous than this. Jesus Christ, how fucking weird is that? Building little nipple armor for your daughter. Just do a little one of these, uh... Gonna pop one of these, pop! One of these, uh, pop! And we gotta we come all the way up here to this fire, pop! You ready, bitch? Uh-huh. Now we're thinking with portals. Hey, what up? Uh, what happened? I destabilized the economy of several cities within Skyrim, and now everyone hates me. And your dad was like, hey, yo, Magica, she loved getting revenge, so, uh, yeah, get her to do it. How do you know who I am? You don't remember? I'm your boyfriend, dude. I'm it's amnesia. Don't worry about it. It's amnesia. Happens all the time. People get over it. You must have forgot a couple things about yourself. You love making chicken parmesan for dinner every night. That was your favorite thing. Oh my god, another thing you loved oral. Holy fuck, I couldn't I couldn't stop you. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, hey babe, I gotta go out to work and all of a sudden you're on my knob. That was probably your favorite thing in life. Oh, and uh, followed by, of course, your second favorite thing, which is uh, destroying all my enemies. Yeah? I remember that, you, you loved doing that. We always, used to always plot together about how we were taking out Ulfric and, and Balgruff. That was, that was a huge thing, you were totally into that. So, you ready to, uh, you ready to, to go? Huh? Get that ass up. Get them thick little bones up. A couple things that we need to talk about. One, do you think it's a little bit weird that, uh, your dad, uh, gave you a full set of armor, but then all of a sudden, right where your little boo-boos are, your little milk duds, 
You, uh, you're, you're just open. You're just breathing air. Ah, is that just me? What about these little, these little pasty little nipple plates? What about those, huh? You don't think that's unusual? You are going to be my instrument of retribution. Uh, Balgriff. All right. He seized on my property that I had accumulated, broke up my uh, my real estate monopoly. He's thrown me in prison for skooma. Ulfric threw me in prison for real estate. Not to mention, he's just kind of an ass. He's in open rebellion Isn't it right now. Night hey, for evil things? Jesus Christ, lady, I'm talking. With Dwerma technology on his side, Shekelstein sees a real opportunity to strike the Jarls that destroyed his life. But in order for his plan to work, he needs the help of the Rat Lord. Before we even attack these people, we need to go get an ally. I've heard stories, little rumors circulating around, of a man, a man named Hamelin. Just like me, he lives underneath the world. You hear their footsteps, you live amongst their fecal matter, and you, you start to resent the surface people. I was only in that cave for about 15 minutes, but I understand where he's coming from. Let's go recruit a sidekick. Hey, hey, hey! Nice place you got here, dude. How you doing? You doing good? Welcome. I'm the owner and proprietor of Hunting Brew Meadery. You happen to have, like, some sort of rat issue around here? Maybe, like, some skeever problem? Hunting Brew uses only the finest natural honey. Not that sludge you'll find at Golden Glow Estate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, I'm just gonna take a look around real quick. Make sure everything's above board. Hey. Alright, Hamlin lives underneath Hunting Brew Meadery. Okay? Ooh. So, hey, hey, you gotta keep quiet. Keep all those gears and whistles down, all right? This guy, he's jumpy. He's he's like a, like a conspiracy theorist. He just kind of lives underneath. Any guy that lives underground with a couple rats, all right, he's a little bit jumpy. But this guy, he's gonna make the perfect sidekick, I'm telling you. What was that? Hamlin, dude! Hey, hey, hey! Keep calm, keep calm, keep calm. No, 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 no. Hamlin, dude, there's money involved. Good to see you again, friend. Yeah, I know. It's been a long time. And, hey, look, hey, 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 hey. Look, I know, hey, don't go to the surface quite yet. You Good need morning. to build up. You need oh, to... no. By the gods, this can't be happening. I know. We killed some of your rats, dude, but I'm telling you, me and you, we can take on these surface people. Okay, you just need to build up your army of rats again. I wouldn't have had to kill them all if you didn't fucking attack me as soon as I came in here. So, uh, you got any, like, weapons around here or anything? You got, like... I mean, what, what, what do you got to bring to the table? Thirteen bucks. That's all you got? Thirteen bucks? Sorry I came to this, Hamlin. Well, that was worth a shot. Looks like it's just me and you. Versus the entirety of White Run and Windhelm. <gasps> Although, I would have liked to have a giant uh, army of rats behind my back, you know what I mean? But... Yeah. Why are you saying that she's a gold digger? But she ain't messing with no broke. With his planned alliance with Hamelin never come to fruition, Shekelstein throws caution to the wind and prepares to strike. Heard oh, they're reforming a dawn guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Rift. Oh my god, look. The guards don't remember me. It's been so long since I've been here. Perfect. I'm all suited for battle. Looking good. Looking extra good. I'm not gonna lie. Ah boy. What do you want? You're not here to I've beat me up. For you. Oh. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your, uh, oh, inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. Oh, an inheritance. Like got to go. What do we got here? Shekelstein Bandit. In the name of Jarl Bulgriff the Greater. It is with great regret that I inform you of Hamlin's death. He's bequeathed to you measure of inheritance of the amount of 300 gold pieces. How the fuck does he know about Hamlin's- I did it two minutes ago! Unless he has spies. Everywhere. He's been watching my every move. This fucking guy's craftier than I thought. The Earl's Court has levied an amount of 30 gold pieces from the sum. Lawfully and honorably due tax. Not only is he spying on me, watching me kill my potential uh, henchmen, but he's levying taxes from my inheritance? Come on, dude. Hello, Wide Run. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been here. Nobody come rush out to greet me, fucking assholes. Yo, Balgruff, dude. 
you spend all this time in uh, Dragon's Reach. I can tell you're a tired guy. You seem like you're pretty tired. How would you like to go on a little hunt? Eh? You know? You got this beautiful city. Smack dab in the middle of all these wide open plains. Beautiful. You got all these wide open fields. Full of game. You got deer out there. You got elk. Hey, I'll, I'll let you lead the way. This kind of reminds me of uh, that series, Game of Thrones. You ever seen that? No? Oh, and like, King Robert goes out hunting for boar? Yeah, think of me like your Lancel. That, that's who I'm trying to be for you right now. He, he was a little manservant to the king. He was a real cool guy. Real cool guy. Got him! <laughs> Hey guys, got you guys a meal, eh? I heard you guys really liked uh, <clears throat> grinding up people's bones and stuff for their bread. Oh, he's looking excited. You want him? <laughs> Hell yeah, he wants him. Yeah, want some of this dick? Want some of this giant dick? Put him on that fire. Get him all cooked up. Well, well, well. Let's see how Dragon's Reach is doing. Very nice place you guys got here. I don't know if uh. You've heard, but Balgruff's dead. Heard about you and your honeyed words. Yep, that's exactly why this is now my throne. I am the new Jarl of Whiterun. You come to me, you better be bringing a fucking burger, a couple shackles. What happened to the other Jarl? What was that, you little bitch? The other Jarl and I went on a hunt, all right, and he tripped, and like right when he tripped, he tripped and was about to fall into the clutches of a mud crab. And right before the crab's claw closed around his little throat, the last words he said were, Shekelstein, I want you to take care of Whiterun for me. And by that, he meant me be the Earl. So here I am, king of it all. And you, you're just down there at the table, bitch. So shut your fucking mouth. Sit there and drink your orange juice, and you better be glad I don't throw your ass out of here. So, I think it's everyone's uh, first order of business as a uh, Jarl to, or a president, you know, to take, make the rounds, meet the other Jarls, uh, really shake hands. I'll be right back. Nobody hold their breath. Ah, oh, yes. Windhelm. Nice city. Yo, old Frick. Palace of Kings, eh? That sounds pretty sweet. Yeah, 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 boy, how you doing? Lord. These you two guys, they're, they're, they're way too hunky for me. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm more of a sleuthy kind of killer. This, I knew I couldn't take those guys on. I kept having visions in my mind of how it would go down. Only to find our country full of strangers. Hey! Shut the fuck up! I'm trying to make a statement here! You know what? I'm bringing in my bitch. My God! Get the fuck in here, bitch! Kill Ulfric. Get him! You can do... What the fuck, you died?! Holy shit! Holy sh- So now, I waited till he went to bed. Oh, so this is where the Jarl sleeps, up on a big podium. Very nice. Fuck out of here, dude. No. But, uh, I got a little present for you. Look at her, dude. Isn't she nice? Nicely done, Buster. What is this guy? Ooh, Stormlord boots and a cuirass. Oh my, this is nice. Hello, it is me, your king. Hey! Yeah, yeah. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Don't worry, man. Look, I got the Jarl's outfit. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Oh, see? I just went down there, paid 40 gold. They forgot about me killing Ulfric. I've taken out Ulfric. I've taken out Balgriff. The two men that slighted me. In the process, I've also gained myself quite a bit of power. You know, I got land, I got people, I got taxes. If there's one thing I love more than anything, it's taxes. Especially when they benefit me. This is what it feels like, man. This is what it feels like to be king. How you guys doing? Huh? You guys doing good? That's right, I'm gonna go out and take a walk. He won. Our dear Shekelstein won. 
political and financial power, and nothing to stand in his way. He finally came out on top. Six million boo hoo hoo. The Holocaust.